All right, Kevin, we know that Astros pitching is a tall task, but did it just feel like you guys couldn't capitalize when you got guys on base, 10 guys left on tonight? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, look, I thought we hit the ball pretty hard for uh, the early part of the night. Brown came in and did a really nice job. Both pitchers, all their pitchers did a good job. It felt like we squared some balls up, didn't have much to show for it. Got some guys on base early. Um, you know, the, the, in the first inning, first and third, one out, like to find a way to score a run, if not multiple. And then Drew, it's a tough lineup in the sixth. They seem to be seeing him particularly well. I mean, what did you see from him today? They, they just kind of bunched it together. Um, they are a very talented lineup. And, you know, when, when Altuve gets on base, he can create a lot of havoc and certainly can, can move. But you got to be mindful of him and then also mindful of the guys that are at the plate. Drew, did he look overall similar to last outing, similar to a couple outings ago? I mean, normal. I thought he looked great. Yeah, he really it was awesome. Just six inning. Yeah, I just curious how you thought he looked. You know? A little broken bat hit didn't help either, right? Um, which hit Very are we doing? Nice. Yeah, I mean, that kind of opened it up a little bit. You got to keep it tight. Uh, he made big pitches to Bregman right there. We get him out. You know, there's some consideration to maybe put Tucker on and then look for a double play ball. But Bregman's a really good hitter and he's got a knack for picking up RBIs. Like Harold, maybe with the one guy. Yeah, it was good to see three hits. Smoked a couple balls the other way. Um, that was really good. All right, Harold, on a night where hits didn't seem to come easy, you were three for four. Cash mentioned a highlight was seeing you smoke the ball the other way a couple times. How were you feeling at the plate? I feel like I come back again. I have like five days, feel weird. I don't feel reading at the plate, but. Today we work here and start to feel better again. What do you think was the difference? The reading. Um, I moved my hand a little bit down, so that made me feel better. You certainly capitalized on some hits today, but did it seem like the big hit kind of eluded you guys when you left 10 guys on base today? Yeah, we we don't want to, like... We want to get RBIs, but if we don't get it, I know it's part of the game, but I know we're going to get another opportunity tomorrow and let's play tomorrow. Charles, was this more their pitching tonight or your guys' approach? Or what do you think it was? You, huh? you had five hits total. I think uh, it's a bad luck because I see a lot of guys stay very good at bats, very good contact. Nobody swing a slider on the there. So, just bad luck. Right, and they, they clinched the American League West tonight. I know you guys knew this, but they kind of looked like they were a pretty good team. Yeah, from my opinion, they are the best team. You can see it because they win a lot. They have good players, but we still have to compete, and I believe on all my teammates. Pretty good test for you guys. You're going to see them five more times over the next two weeks. Pretty good test to play them that much? Yes, it's pretty good tips. Uh, I know we're going to face those guys at the playoff too, but we have to compete. You guys had three balls to the warning track tonight too. Is that where that sort of bad luck comes in, where a few more feet maybe may changes the game a little bit? Yeah, like I told you before, it's just bad luck. Tomorrow it's going to be another day We you have to come back and compete again. And they have the same approach. Maybe tomorrow we have better luck. Thanks, All right, Drew, I guess it seemed like you were feeling pretty good. And then the sixth inning, did it feel like kind of they bunched it all together there? Or how did you feel in that inning? Uh, I mean, it's just this is game two in a row with inability to put guys away with two strikes. Um, I thought I did a better job of executing uh, with two strikes today. But, you know, their refusal to strike out uh, came up big for them. Uh, you think about the Altuve hit and the Bregman hit. I mean... I didn't really feel like I gave up a whole lot of hard contact in general, but, uh, I mean, besides the, the homer and then the uh, Alvarez single there in the sixth, I, I thought a lot of uh, soft contact was put in play and, uh, like I said, a refusal to strike out, and, and, and they were able to string some hits together. The Bregman hit you mentioned, did it kind of look like you just went out there and extended and, and drove it drove in two there? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a quality pitch to a quality location. Same with uh, the Altuve. I thought both of those pitches were pretty good. Um, and once again, balls in play, you know, they have a chance to be hits. And, and, I mean, neither of them hit particularly hard, but they just hit to the right spot, and that's baseball sometimes. I'm sure starting off 3-0 and then giving up the homer was not in the playbook either. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, fair assessment. I mean, just 
for you to fall behind like that seemed unusual. Yeah, I mean, of course that wasn't what I was planning to do when I went out there. Right. I just didn't know if there was a reason, that's all. Nope. Drew, you, uh, uh, would you get some bad luck with, like, the Bregman hit and stuff like that, too? And I know you you, said you pitched well most of the game. Or is, it, is it easier to flush a game like this to move on to the next one, knowing that you threw the ball pretty well most of the night? No, it still sucks. Um, I mean... At the end of the day, you know, their ability to put the ball in play took us out of the game, and and that falls on me. You know, my responsibility as a starter is is to keep us in it and give us a chance. And and I mean, that sixth inning really, really, you know, hampered what we could do offensively. Not a lot of let up in that lineup either, especially up top to get through Altuve. You got Jordan and Bregman and all those guys behind them. Yeah, I mean, it's a good lineup. Obviously, you know, the record speaks for itself. Um, it's a quality team just in general, and they've done a really good job of stockpiling talent. And um, like I said, I mean, it's 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 a quality lineup from top to bottom.